keeping my eyes closed, then keeping okay. my eyes closed. You can open them. Oh, Good darling. Ceiling height. It's very romantic. Thank you. This is the Thank nicest you. thing you've ever done for me. No. Oh, look at this. It's one of them. We're going to get thrown out of this. Maybe I, I, oh, you might be able it's to... It's in here. Is it? Okay. Look, we'll settle up at the end. Please, exercise restraint. Nice sure. to meet you. Hi. Adam, nice to meet you. Sorry. Everything okay? So far, good. Yeah. Please, don't ever... <laughs> wow. That's, that's no good. That's no good. What happened there? I don't know. Is that everything okay? To do with the sweets? I think this just called a sniper. I farted. <laughs> wow. Well, that was exciting. Well, so let's yes, let's go and yeah, check in. Let's check in. You look like some kind of Burger King boxing champ. Ah, yeah, Kid Whopper. Let's get in here. Let's get you that meat you need. It's broiling. Wow. Oh, that's warm. Oh, oh, that's good. I don't know what does. Wow, look at that. Mmm. Mmm. Oh, well, God. There's yeah. no danger of it cooling down. I don't think you should be able to eat fast food in a sauna. Yeah, but don't tell me that fry's not going down well. How's the burger? <laughs> you feel good, oh, right? Burger. Oh, there you go. That's oh, right. That's really good. Yeah. My eyebrows are hot. Probably not supposed oh. to do this, right? Can you win it? Let's see what happens. Mmm. Nothing really came up of that. It's just stained those rocks. Wow, it really did stain those white rocks. Mm. Looks like someone's defecated on those rocks. I'm not so sure someone hasn't. Oh! Yeah. Oh, God! Yeah, that's the eye sweats. <laughs> who thought of this? Who? Who? I don't know, but I want to shake his hand. I'm presuming it's a man. Yeah, I'm presuming it's, mm. a, it's a king. <laughs> uh, you know what, uh, just throw, throw that tomato on the rocks. That's... Yeah. And that's gonna go for a while. Yeah, that might just burst into flames. It's cooking, it's like a barbecue. I feel I was put up to that by you, by the way, in case this becomes official. I was pressured into that. I'm, I'm very weak as a person. I'm gonna try and scoop it back out with, with the ladle. Scooper. Ah. Oh, oh crumbs. Get it. Oh, 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 let me get it with a fry. Ah, uh, oh, that thing's melting. We oh. almost had it. Wait a minute. Oh, oh no, no, you no, can't. Fries. The fry, oh, it's come apart in the middle of oh, the crumb. Son of a. Just flick it. Oh, we had come it. On, flick it on. All right, I can only put my hand flick in for a second. Holy oh, oh, moly. Oh, man, we're going to have to pay for some more rocks. You know what, we need more rocks. Oh, and now black stuff is coming <laughs> off. Look. We just need to flush this tomato down. <laughs> Get it in there. Flush it. Yeah. We just flush it down deep. No one's ever going to know. But, and then just scrape it. Sorry, yeah. I've just got to do yeah. my due diligence now. Yeah. I've got to get that tomato deep. Oh. Ow! Ow! Yeah, that one spit oh. back at you. That one, oh. let, that one let us... Oh! 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 oh. 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 That's, ah! It's on me! You got on you? The heat or the tomato? Good night, that's hot. <laughs> yeah, no, it's, 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 uh. Oh, that's hot. It, it's. Oh, that's so hot. Yeah. Good. Wow. Oh, oh. Yeah. Wow. That's hot. Oh. Do one more. Wow. No, 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 that's enough. That's my hands. No. Just burn my hands. That's a, okay. Burn my hands. Oh, no. And it, I need it's, the, it's the second wave that comes. Yeah, blast you in the face. I'm sorry I used that expression. I'm so used to water cooling things down. Not in sauna. Oh. No, don't do the whole thing. <laughs> don't. No, don't. I won't do that. No, no, I'm leaving. Me. Ah, it's burning me! This is gin, mm -hmm. grapefruit juice, carbonated, 5.5% created for the Olympics. To sporting excellence. Mm. I don't know what subsequent Olympic drinks have been. I normally would have thought an isotonic sports drink or water. 
Right, right. Something with some electrolytes. Not gin. It was a different time. Maybe the Victorian Olympics, when Dickens was doing the relay race. Mm -hmm. I want to say this. You've made short work of that long drink. Thank you. Really, you know what? Thank I'm you. really putting this away quickly. Yeah. I think going on a tram this slow will do that to you. I don't know how you become a tram driver. Do you just, you like driving, but steering isn't for you? Yeah. I like I to be behind the wheel. And not move it. I, I just, just like to brake. I just want to be behind it. I want to brake yeah. and, and slowly speed up. Mm -hmm. um, do you want me to refresh this long drink? Yeah. Yeah, thank you. Uh, yeah, I'll go for yeah. a, a new long drink. Yeah, take another one. Oh, yeah, thanks. Could we, um, one more long drink, please? Hi, I'm Paul. How's your tour going so far? She's the first time here. First time? Yes. Oh. Where are you from? Russia, half Finnish. And you? New York. New York. Right. New York, yes. So far away. Yeah, yeah, it is kind of far away. We've come to Finland. <laughs> well, I heard about the tram and I didn't why I couldn't miss it. Yeah. Yeah. I, I, uh, what the hell's going on? We're, 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 uh, we're gone one second what? to get you a long food. drink. <laughs> my... Tram mates, thank you. Thank yeah, you. It's a good. long drink. Okay, yeah. that's fine. I generally London. encourage him not to socialize in case there's a. That's the great thing about this tram. Put a couple of long drinks in me. I'm everybody's best friend. Wow. Look at this. That. Is that the Harris Amanda fountain that I've been hearing so much about? I think it might be. That was a heck of a fountain. I think we've missed the marketplace. And I think that's all there is to see. What was your favorite part? My favorite part, I think, was going back up for a long drink and finding that you'd already made more friends than I've made in the last five years. <laughs> that's good. Very nice. That's good. I feel this experience is going to go downhill from there. I th why, why lead with negativity? Sorry. Shh, please. I mean, bad for television. What are you good now? For being massaged. The whole thing. I'm very excited. In. Ooh, mine barely fits. Okay, there's no need to boast. <laughs> <laughs> they barely do. Okay, sure. We all, we get it. Oh, oh thank you. Grief. Oh, there we go. Oh yeah. That's a soapy foot. Yes, Richard, you had a question? Why does it hurt so much, is my question. I think because you have to like let the man do his thing. Ow. Just, just be okay with it. Maybe, maybe some tea. Okay. I mean, it really hurts. It hurts so much. I think I have a lot of tension in me. I, I think so too. I think this is a, that's why I think this is therapeutic. But is it bad to be tense? Uh, uh, yes, I why? think studies why? show. We it's, should be tense though. Well, and it's just not always so tense. Really? You don't want to be kind of Look like at a the world. caged animal. Being tense is an appropriate response. Not 100% of the time though. It is. No, you have to experience, this is what you do. You go to nice places, you see nice things. You have to let them wash over you, like a foot massage. Ugh. End it with two clean feet and a relaxed attitude. My lady's kind. You know why? Because I deserve it. Why is he hitting me? Because you deserve it. It's sort of the Santa Claus, not a <sighs> nice situation. He's back. Now he's uh -oh. on the thighs. He's good. Wow. Let me get the Ooh. other towel. <laughs> put, the, put, Whoa. put the hot bag there. You get the heck away from me. You back it up. Back it up. Back it up, mister. Oh, that's got to feel good, huh? That was very close to the danger where I'm snaking down. The swimsuit area? Whoa. It's not dislocated. You don't have to pop it back in. He obviously thinks this is a car a jack. Massage. He's trying to lift up the chassis. Hey, now. He's definitely trying stuff out. <laughs> I think that's impressive. And I, for one, am glad to witness it. Watching a master at work. Good gravy. Ow. For a man who reminded me very early on in the process yes. of the sign that says, shush, please. Yes. You're making a lot of noise. Okay. Are you going to leave a lot of it to be consistent with your earlier rudeness? Maybe, but the only thing is, there's quite, I think there is quite a lot of dairy in there. Okay. And, and I have an intolerance, which leads to a very similar response as I have. You're had a bag of wind. <laughs> to the You're a fucking bag. 
We have an intolerance. <laughs> Jesus, woman. There's only one way to go with my intolerances. We have bodies. We yes. have colons. <laughs> and sometimes gas gets trapped in those colons. Stop talking about my colon. You're the one who bought it. Stop, let's not look. Other people here. What, you think they don't have colons? They've got colons. And that guy's got a colon. He's got a colon. He's got a colon. <laughs> and those guys don't have colon. All of these people have colons and they've all got trapped gas in them. And at some stage, that gas is going to come out. And if we can't talk about this freely on this show, it's an 8.30 show, it's a family show, then what the hell are we doing? If we're not making people more comfortable with their colons, then we're making people less comfortable with their colons. And I don't want to be doing that. Not in this day and age. I want my daughters to be able to harp whenever they want. To feel free. To feel relaxed. I'm eating dairy. Just calm down, my colon. I feel it's very passionate about relaxed. this. I've been a gas advocate for a long time in my own spare time. <laughs> oh dear. Heck of a mm. meal. Heck of a meal. <laughs> Thank you for no. having us, oh. Lee. It's not all about you. Sorry. Meet me in the middle here. <laughs> You're going to teach us how to make chocolates. Just, well, just the basics here. Yeah. I don't want too many competitors uh, in the area, so. I think uh, you're safe. No, you decorate as you like. Lovely. There's no rule. No rule. Uh, anyway, you will bring back those chocolate homes, so... Okay. I oh, will take this away with us. Yeah, yeah, I'm not going to eat them. Oh, no, charming. thanks a yeah, lot. No, no. We have requirements for the some expectations. A minimum, a minimum yeah, expectation yeah, 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 yeah. that we don't fulfill. So, so then back to the fridge. That's a good catchphrase. It is. Back to the fridge. Wow. You need a hairnet. You should probably have gloves. Should Lee be having gloves? Because he went to the loo for yeah, a drink. Can we not talk about my hygiene habits on national television, please, Richard? They're not ideal. Yeah, no, we've all popped into a vat of chocolate. Let it go. It's heavy, this liquid chocolate. Come on, like do this, son. Oh, Come on. Gee. This is harassment in the workplace. I'm not going to lie to you. When you started talking, I thought, how hard can it be? It's only sticking yeah, chocolate in a hole. But actually, it's hard. It's done very well. I... Does your, this... your English is too fast. I understand only half of it, so it's just keep going. Welcome to the club. <laughs> It's that dribble at the end. It's your age. And uh, then, yeah. That's a proper old school job. Thank I like you. that, Richard. Thank you. And the thing is, uh, you've got up in my estimation, Thank not you. down. The only thing that could have improved that is if I'd looked at the camera at the end. By hope, Richard, you were hungry. You, you've hardly tasted that, look. I plowed. You've run it through like a taut wire. I've got no class. Are you on the 5-2 the and you've just come to the end of a 2? I, I never come to the end of a 2. Sometimes you have to clip it. I just have to call it a draw. 5 2. No, just that sounds absurd. And I also, know those people who've done it. They get really very angry towards the end of that. Well, look at Philip Schofield. Did Pip Schofield do look that? Look at Schofield. Really? Oh, Pip. You don't need to. No. He's it's thin as a rake anyway. He's in tremendous condition for a man. He's in age. the condition of his life. Yep. What a broadcaster. I'm surprised when they made the film of um, Fifty Shades of Grey, they didn't give it to Pip. They should have gone with Scofe. Mm. He's got that sight. <clears throat> Air of menace. Yes. He? You don't want to know what's in his basement. As a lover, I imagine that he'd be both firm and unfair. Well, tender and undermining. Yeah. Poignant, but also too quick. It's okay, back to the banana. It's meaningful. That'll be the World Cup. Yeah. I did a football song once and we needed that for the video and it was hiring it is impossible. Right. So I um, held a cantaloupe in my hand and dipped it in custard. Yes. And it looks almost exactly the same. Okay. That wasn't World in Motion, was it, my son? No, no. I wasn't involved. This was uh, much better. How dare you? That's one of the finest musical breaks in any song. You've got to hold the line and do it at the right time. I'm impressed that you know that. That was, that was when I broke with football, just before then. You look like a footballer. I do, thank you for noticing it. Do you want to hear the traumatic story? Yes. I hope you're doing a slow zoom. I was captain of the football team up until 11 at primary school. I was in the football team at eight, playing with 11 year olds. I was a lad oh, of natural talent, man, fast, were, grace, yeah. elegance, vision. At 11, new school, Catholic boys school, only played rugby. I was in a segmented 
siphoned off scholarship sets. I was denied football at lunchtime. A victim of your own intelligence. And perhaps, let's just put it out there, the world's greatest footballer was snuffed out before I'd reached my teens. But and in protest, I never played football again. It is quite a horrible story, it's though. It's a terrible story. You could have been. I just think you might have been a different bloke if you'd I become a professional footballer. Well, the world will never know. Mm. But yeah, anyway. If so they weren't zooming in, they can put it on in post. I was told that there's two or three World Cups. One of them is kind of solid gold. So okay. I think it just goes from vault to vault. OK. But me and uh, David Baddiel once um, borrowed a World Cup we just used it for a photo shoot okay. and a man came in an armoured car kind of right. thing and he had to be there at all times. And he said, this is the one that's going to be presented to the, the winning captain in a couple of weeks' time. Right. And then he had to go to the toilet and when he was out the room, I, I, um, I robbed my private parts on the World Cup. Oh, I thought you were going to say David Baddiel. No, that's another story. Yeah. And... Uh, when France won the World Cup yeah. um, a couple of weeks later and I watched the captain kiss the World Cup having won it, I felt I was organically part of the whole experience. He died three weeks later. Of course he did. Yeah. Hit by a car. No, um, septicema. We've both told moving, personal, revelatory stories here. It's, inter it's almost like this is some sort of mystical crystal that, yeah. that triggers the deepest that's right deepest origin stories we should meet here for therapy every week can we make it every month every month yeah a week as soon as the word week left my lips i thought that's 52 times too regular i just realized today that the world cup is uh, coming up at time of recording we're recording this in may mm. who do you think will win the world cup so that when this is broadcast you can look a full i think england will win the world cup okay are you saying that because it's impossible for England to win? No. I've got, I've just got, it's come from this, be, just being here, I, I sort of knew as soon as okay. I stood next to it, that the next time I saw this, um, it would be in the arms of a young Englishman. Okay. Or is it that I would be in the arms of a young Englishman? I don't know, that, there's yes. something going on in my head of that nature. Okay. So what are they called? They're called human fish. I don't know why. Well, they don't look like humans. They don't no. look like fish. So you may as well call them rhinoceros dogs. Why, if there was a god, we all know there isn't one, but if there was a god... How dare you? I'm right here. I know. Okay, I want a head, I want front legs, yes. body, and then on and on and on and on. Oh, yeah, some back legs, the and then keep going on and then stop. Yeah. I mean, what? Some things are more thumbnail sketches than fully developed. I mean, yeah, look at me. Milan has, is very fashionable, is it not? Yes, yes, yes. sure. Why? One, Why is Milan so good for fashion? Uh, I think it's the most important in the world. <laughs> OK. Have you been to Birmingham? Yes, yes. Okay. But uh, the best in the world. I you do know. the maths. I understand. No. Can we try on some items? Have you got any dresses in his size? Sh sure, I think. And for my... Don't you worry, I'll find me on ...contractual stuff. companion? Mm. Much, <laughs> much, Slacks. much more. Lots more. Oh, okay, that's fine. Lots, lots. <laughs> She's very defensive. Be because the men's yes. are conservative. They, they are. They don't sell. They all, they all things. Okay. Women, they need, they need uh, new, new, oh. new, new, new. So they change and they sell. Yeah, there's Gosh. a greater turnover, yes, but with an undercurrent of criticism about the fickleness of women there. So... Morgana, si. you're going to survey the land here. Indeed. I come with you. I'm in the market for a satchel. Yes. That's what I'm saying. Good oh, luck! This is yes. what we have in man. This all is yep. this. Come on, I can fit into some of this vintage stuff. Oh dear, it's too small. The shoulders are good. Good for you. Buttons. Uh, in horn, real horn. horn. Just not slice. Plat not plastic. Horn. Please. Please. £690. A little much. A little much. much. Maybe with the sky is too much. But this jumper, however, have you ever seen Howard's Way? 
How what? It was a yachting-based drama, I guess you'd call it. I don't know. English. English. Never used. I'm not surprised looking like that. It's hard to find the occasion to wear this. Probably once you've won the regatta. It's a hell of a jumper. Very good. Heck of a joint. I've not found much. Shall we go? Where do you stand on alphabetti spaghetti? Fad, gimmick, or are you behind it? Could you please... Spaghetti. Me? Yes. But it's the alphabet. So you get an A, B, C, it's... So when... No? You don't have it? Wow. I knew we were advanced in Britain, but I didn't know how advanced. So alphabetti spaghetti, it's, it's standard spaghetti in tomato sauce, but it's the alphabet, so... Yeah. Am I on Mars here? So, you, on your plate, you can make letters. Letters? Yes. Swear words? It's a great way to develop language skills and keep dinner fun. You don't have alphabetic spaghetti. <laughs> alphabetic spaghetti? No. But this is what the home of pasta. And so what you do at this stage is that you would start making them into the letters. You, for the uh, spaghetti? For the, alpha, for the alphabetic spaghetti. spaghetti. And so you make one. Could you ABCD. could you show me? Just yeah, I can. Look. So let's take that. That's a C. Hmm. <laughs> Interesting. So um, you know. And what about W? Are you testing whether I know how letters are formed or whether the pastor will do it? That's a W. I don't just know the letter C. So you can write your name and Morgana one. Yeah, I can. <laughs> I mean, it won't make it to broadcast, but I can certainly. I, c I could do that. <laughs> That's the whole joy of alphabetic spaghetti. So interesting. If you could do artisanal alphabetic spaghetti, you would clean up um, in a lot of the independent schools. If I'm you did an alphabetic spaghetti with a pesto. Join up handwriting yes. alphabetical spaghetti. It would be like sold out classes. Sold out? <laughs> There's only two of us here, so you can I'll laugh. I'll consider about. Yeah, think about it. <laughs> Maybe I'll go back to my previous job. Okay. I'd love to go back to mine, but I'm <laughs> seems like I'm stuck. I think I might be the first person to sink in this lake. There's something wrong with me. There's like a kind of inner toxicity. Go on, Richie, you've got to go on your back. I don't want to go on my back. Yeah. Why would I want to go on my back? Because that's the point, you float in it. It's not it's not the it's not why the sea's here. It is. It's not. That's not why it is. That's weird. That's weird. It's weird. Very weird. On your back. This is wet salt. <laughs> yeah, go on, Richard. Come on. Well, it's, this is what happens in casting sessions. Yes, I Before know. Before you know it, you're in a hotel for a meeting. <laughs> go for it, honestly. I don't want I'm to. I'm not carving. It's going to be okay. No, I can't. <laughs> and now I've got... Oh, that, I do have cuts on my face. Yeah. I can't do it. Is it salty? It's like a trust exercise. <laughs> Shall I go behind Jeez. you? Jeez. Go behind you. It's in my and, nose. And no. You fall, you fall Get away from me, Peter Brook. No. I don't want to lie back. I don't enjoy it. This sea is not here for us. Nothing lives in this sea. Yeah. Nothing. Apart from we, bacteria us, and us. some algae. We're barely living. We've shown that. <laughs> Look, I'm going to show you again. It's just salt. Follow me. It's wet salt. Follow me into the wet no. salt. Who Think... are you? David <laughs> Koresh? Here I'm we not go. joining your cult. Look at that. It's bloody salty. I've got i got that in my mouth. Sorry, I've gone all Robbie Fowler, but I've got a lot of salt in my mouth. You're ruining my zen. That's what you're doing. I can't believe one of the most prominent atheists in the country <laughs> has accused me of ruining his zen. Zen. This is a body of water in which you were recommended to only do backstroke. If that's not creepy, I don't know what is. Are you still definitely not going to float? I can't float. I can't do it. I can't go back. It's not right. Oh. I'm going to try see what I'm going to do. Go on. I'm going to taste a bit of it. Good luck. i tell you what I'm going to do. Oh, bloody hell, that's, that's salty. That's right. Oh, my God, that's salty. Oh, God. Buckle yes. up. 5D type. Yep. Oh, they've got actual... Yeah. Aeroplane seatbelts. I think Ken Loach directed what we're about to see. Oh, did he really? Yeah. The 5D movie? Yes. Have you ever made a film in 5D? I wish. I wish I had the bravery. I'd love to see the submarine. Yeah. And just watch it and then occasionally someone goes... Oh.
Oh, hello. Whoa. Oh, man. This is a motion sickness sufferer's dream. Here we go. Welcome to Porto. I will describe it through the eyes of a dragon, the symbol of the city, in the most exciting... Here we go. It's like somebody's trying to start I just a don't see why everything has to fly towards you in 3D. How are you feeling? I feel terrible. <laughs> I cannot feel worse. Come on, mate, enjoy the Ds. Unless they're trying to make me associate Porto with Vaughn. <laughs> oh, now we're on top of the building. Oh, I mate. See this is really up there. <laughs> this is really up there. <laughs> oh, oh, the leaf stop just it. blew at me. Uh, Oh, I man, even these 3D any... glasses are amazing. It's like there's I loads just, of bubbles coming at me. I just don't care. I don't care whether I live or die now. <laughs> just get me out of Porto. Uh-oh. Oh, I've got a bad feeling about this. Oh, Just describe what happens now. I'm just going to close my eyes. OK, the, we're currently uh, sort of going over a very, very tempestuous sea. OK. We're circling a lighthouse. I just feel like Dustin Hoffman at the end of Midnight Cowboy now. <laughs> I'm, I just don't care. <laughs> now I'd do a lot of things different if I lived again, Mish. I don't, Whoa! Oh, I don't, Something went off of my, our face. I didn't think I was ready for the combination of fact and end. <laughs> it's a very hard balance to make. Often you can just seem like you're undermining the premise. It's not easy. It's not easy Same at all. Same with Michael Burke. And you would have thought Burke would lead more on the fact, but boy, does he end. Of course he ends. He ends massively. Oh, oh man. Oh, oh, oh it's stop. another one. Oh, stop it. The last time I felt that ill, I'd eaten six prawn sandwiches. Why did you eat six prawn sandwiches? There's an all you can eat buffet. I decided prawns were the most valuable foodstuffs. I should try and eat as much of it as I could. Did you fashion the sandwiches yourselves? No, I was, I was at an uh, all-you-can-eat buffet. Yeah. You could have open-top prawn sandwiches. Right. They were fresh prawns. Yeah. I thought I'll just smash as many of these as I can. <laughs> How Couldn't, many did you get? I'd say at least six, seven. <laughs> Couldn't eat prawns for a decade. <laughs> and I was eating them fast, Nish. <laughs> I was eating them so fast. <laughs> were you just huffing them? Uh, I didn't realize that you couldn't eat that much prawn in one go. You can't, man is not built for that I much prawn. I thought it was a lean Richard. meat. It's not a lean it's meat. It's not a lean meat. It's a creamy fish. It was with a creamy sauce, a Thousand oh, Island style dressing. You're joking me. And it did it not, was cream on cream. It was cream, and that didn't hit me till the fifth. <laughs> I pushed forward for two more, and then I had to lie down. <laughs> Today. And then I was sick. Oh, right. And I kept being sick. I was just trying to extract value. Never take off. Well, these are like trendy brooches. Incredibly trendy. You could put a bike one on. Are you a cyclist? I am. Of course you are. So would, would I... Fix gear? No. Mm. Why? Why'd you say that? No. Why? Are you picking a fight? Is that a fight? <laughs> you That's... said it with a look in your eye. With a, I said it with a look <laughs> in my eye. You did. There's a lot of backed up hurt coming out <laughs> that I don't feel I can take full responsibility for. I think this one's good for Not you. Not a fixed bike? No. Right. What's the opposite of a fixed bike? A geared bike. Geared, yeah. yeah. Gear, gears for days on mine. Really? Yeah. Racer, mountain, fold up. <laughs> just, just road. If you don't want to specify the bike you ride, <laughs> I feel, I feel because you don't want like to jeopardise your sponsorship deal. I feel like that's fine. I am going to say something wrong, you, you and Halfords are going to do a run. You want to keep that private? Yeah, it just feels a bit of an intimate yeah. detail that I'm not yeah. ready to share. Your riding life is a private life. <laughs> I understand that. I do. Uh, the cat? Oh, that's kind of cheeky, isn't it? I'm so just very worried about making a judgment now <laughs> that's going to trigger you. This is the money shot, but enough about my legs. Please. All right. Rachel Hunter over here. Rod Stewart's probably going to write a song about this episode. Yeah. All your references are... <laughs> I mean, even Rachel... Rachel Hunter is your most yeah. up-to-date reference oh, yeah. so far. That's right. And no one remembers who that is. I know he my... hasn't been married to Rachel Hunter I know my for core at demo. least 20 years. I know my core demo <laughs> came of age in the 70s. Wow. Tailed off in the 80s. Sure. So through the 90s, and now they're here yeah. and they're tired. <laughs> All right, fair enough. Yeah. Unbelievable. Say my restaurant update. Stormzy. Thank you. Go on. 
<laughs> so that's a new part of Dubrovnik. It's called Lapad. Yeah. Most of it was built in during the last 70 years. Oh, don't say the last 70 years to him. He's only <laughs> interested in what happened last week. <laughs> oh, okay, my bad. Then I should have... You know, do you know who Marlene Dietrich is? Yes. Don't get, put words in his mouth. No. No, no you don't. You don't know who Marlene Dietrich this is? This guy's about 50 and he doesn't know who Marlene Dietrich is. I rest my case. God, Joseph I wonder, why no, one, I wonder why no one watches Channel 4 anymore. I remember the days it used to have its finger on the pulse, that channel. If it Morocco! Was, it was a dispatches here. Yeah, 1931 I film, von no, Sternberg. I know the country. Okay. okay. Go on. Sorry, please, you were telling us. We're yeah. in the middle of a deleted scene. Go on. Here you can see the biggest tree in Norway. That is big. How tall is that? No, it's over 50 metres high. Over 50 metres. It's bigger than your house. Please. How many storeys has your house got? It's got two storeys. I live in a flat with two storeys. Yeah. But the stories it could tell, if you know what I mean. Yeah, I, I, That's a play on words. Yeah. <laughs> so this tree was uh, planted here in the in 1900. Who by? By uh, f uh, researchers at the university yep. who imported many different types of trees, and this especially is from uh, British Columbia. You're welcome. And, um, Ole, will yeah. this tree get any taller? Yeah, it's still growing. So I think they'll have a new measurement in uh, later this year. And then it's probably like 51 metres. Oh, man. I can't wait. No. I like the little short fat trees. Yeah. Little short squat ones. Bushes? Yeah. <laughs> okay. So, um, should we go this way? Yeah. So it could be an extra metre by the end of the year. Yeah. I'm working for this city. Look at that train. Choo -choo. Parquet flooring. Choo -choo. Parquet floor is lovely. Lovely. We've got it in our hallway. Shut up. Mm. That's my dream parquet flooring. It's, um, it's really nice. It costs a bit, really. Of course know. it does. I'm early. You've really made it. Thank you. And you've got parquet flooring. I've I got need it. the hallway. It's quite a small hallway. I've got it in the Horniman Museum. And I think, nice. So where you go? To my parquet flooring fix. The only thing with parquet flooring you should be aware of, it's... Even varnished, it does have a tendency, if you spill water on it, to stain. Yep. So. And you need a very solid base, concrete. Oh, really, to, to, to apply to, to hold yes. It. Yes, of course, that goes without saying. But. What kind of flooring have you got in the rest of the house, flat? <sighs> Laminate. Nice. In the bedroom? Laminate. <laughs> yeah? Mm-hmm. Wipe clean. Not no. your first rodeo. Exactly. Always because I eat in bed. Laminate on the walls? Well, hopefully after this job I'll have a couple of quid and... You can laminate the walls? Yeah. When you say laminate, like a lino? Mm-hmm. Mm. Mm -hmm. Patterned think... or plain, like a hospital? Um, a mixture. You've not been to my house, have you? I think I would have remembered. Mm. I can't remember why I saw that. Do you have arrows so that you know which lane you're going down? We have uh, a, a central blue line through the wall like a hospital. You no know, hospitals have a, a blue line. When you say there. your house, are you sure you're not thinking of Ikea? Oh, yeah. Are the masons as sinister as they sound? I don't, I don't have much information on the Masons. Okay. I wouldn't say it was one of my specialist subjects. Which? What is my oh, specialist your subject? Special subject. Um, breakfast cereals. As in the manufacture, the packaging? Just sort of what's available. Okay. What's you yours? Need, um, I would say probably my specialist subject are the films of Ingmar Bergman. Okay. That seems on brand. It is, thank you. Yeah. And it's, it's a brand that's not particularly working out.